everybody. Um, it's Tuesday night again. It's 14th of April and uh, this is the end of week two of marathon preparation. Um, if it's Tuesday night, it's leaving Las Vegas and uh, road training. So I'm at the Leaven Leisure Centre. I'm not really sure what we're going to be doing tonight. Um, I've got a funny feeling it's going to be hill reps and that'll be cool. It was um, February, I think we last did, or I did, uh, hill reps down here. And uh, unfortunately that night I, I picked up a calf strain. Um, the hills here aren't very long, they're only about 150 metres, but they are particularly steep. Um, so it's quite intense, uh, the workout, and uh, it does put a lot of strain on your calf. Um, so I'll be making sure that if that is what we're doing tonight, that um, I try and take things a little bit easier and uh, be a little bit kinder to, to my calves than, than I was the last time. Um, otherwise, we'll just see, uh, you know, exactly what is in store. Um, it's always a good night here at Leaven. Um, yeah, so looking forward to it. Okay, so see you later on the actual manoeuvres. Right, so um, so we're not doing hills, we're going to do uh, pursuits, so kind of jog walk out to Bayview, just about a K, and uh, then we'll get started. Good. Just watch for Andy, if ever Andy turns, that's the fun of the tweet. I'm going to purposely go So the idea of this is when the guys at the front get to the tunneling point, they'll put their hand up and uh, at that point everybody turns around and heads back. So in theory, we all get back to the start at the same time.
So, uh, that was about 0.5556 of a K um, for one rep. So that was okay. I've definitely got tight hamstring. So that's the one that I've been talking about for the last week. Um, I don't know what I can do about that just now. I'll just try doing a couple of stretches on it. So I'm just um, stretching the, the calf and the hamstring together. I really thought that that would ease off, you know. Um, can't afford a hamstring injury because that, that can be that can be quite nasty. again Now, before the comments start coming in, I know this isn't a recognised stretch for a hamstring, but uh, I find personally it's good for not just the calves, but if you put a wee bit of side pressure onto the, the leg, you can feel it pull on the hamstring as well. So, as I keep saying and will keep saying, yeah, it's what works for me. It's not necessarily the recommended thing, not necessarily what's going to work for you. Good. Notice as well you're not bouncing into the stretch. It's the worst thing you can do, uh, particularly when your muscles are cold. 
but I mean they're reasonably warm now but even so so just gradually put the pull on it and hold it and there we go oh look it's windy <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> You've already done that. <laughs> well, it's so that I can say to my wife, I haven't been away with a fancy woman. Been away with 30 of them. I know, that's a good idea. <laughs> so my plan is to start off relatively gently. Then in this middle stint, um, then we'll really ramp it up uh, until the end of the stint. I'm probably doing not much less than VO2 max, is that what you call it, your maximum heart rate? Um, but you want to stay below that. I know there's this thing about the lactate threshold that says you don't want to go too near your, your maximum because uh, you'll start pouring out lactic acid. But uh, my understanding is that that's not too bad uh, if you're doing it to a limited extent. So we'll give that a try and then uh, the last stint we'll go back to uh, ramping it back down so that in theory the last one is, is really gentle and easy pace. So that's my strategy, that's the plan. We'll see how it goes. So that was another... Uh, another reasonably quick run back. So next time, it's got to be flat out. So what's that going to be? About 250, 300 metres flat out, which isn't a lot, but uh, can't do any harm. I don't think that was totally flat out. But it was pretty damn fast for me. That would be interesting to see what heart rate monitor would make of that. But uh, given that I don't have one, all I can do is go by who I'm feeling and I feel the heart pumping away much more than it ordinarily would and I'm much more out of breath than it normally would be. So I think I've been working reasonably hard there. Oh, right. Okay, so that was uh, the Leave in Las Vegas workout. Um, pursuits are always quite good you know you you can uh, go at various paces you're you're not depending on anybody else and nobody else is depending on you if you want to do an easy rep you can do an easy rep if you want to go flat out you can go flat out and uh, nobody worries you know they're only worrying about themselves at the end of the day which is just the way it should be um so i'm not sure how many reps i did there probably oh a minimum of 10 something like that um yeah I, I did enjoy it I, I to be honest i felt a bit tired um not sure why that should be um but i did um hamstring uh it was a bit tight to begin with maybe for the first half a dozen even um but interestingly when i was in in between and uh, towards the end, when I was uh, doing some uh, static stretches, um, I noticed that if I put a bit of lateral pressure on my, my leg, 
um, when I pushed it um, one way, um, it, there, there was uh, no sensation of, of pull. When I put it the other way, um, it was really quite tight. I could really feel it pulling. Uh, so that's the one that goes down the outside of the leg. So I'm now wondering whether, and I really don't know because I'm not a medic, um, but I can go and uh, look it up and do a bit of reading. I'm wondering whether it's the muscle that's going down the, the outside of the lower leg which is actually putting the pull um, on the, the, the upper leg. So it's given me the, the symptom of a tight hamstring um, but it's not actually the hamstring that's the problem. That, that would kind of fit in with um, having had you know, the calf strains um, in, in recent months. Um, so when I get back tonight, I'll have a look at, uh, at some diagrams and um, see what I can find out. Um, okay, uh, otherwise, I'm quite, quite happy, I think. Right, that's it for tonight. Thank you.